Hey everyone, this is Deborah Clark from the New Hampshire Center for Nonprofits and welcome to our final New Hampshire Gives webinar for this year. Um, very, very excited about the day. I just wanted to give you guys some, some idea of the scope. Um, we have 321 fully um, participating nonprofits. That means that they've entered their bank account information, they're ready to accept donations. Um, we have an additional 66 who were waiting to, to do their bank account information, so if that's you, you want to probably get doing that um, in the next couple of days. We've also got um, 95, organ uh, 76 organizations have created campaigns, um, and we've got very, very big goals. I'm not going to say exactly how many goals, what the dollar amount is, but people are setting some pretty big goals, so I'm really excited to see what the day turns out like. Um, so. Without further ado, I'm going to turn you over to Bridget and Casey from GiveGab, and they will lead us on this um, next exploration of how to promote, promote, promote. <laughs> Thanks so much, Deborah. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Bridget. I'm the customer success rep at GiveGab, here to make sure that you have everything you need to promote your participation in New Hampshire Gives and be successful this Tuesday on the big day. I'm also joined here with Casey. Hi everybody, I'm the Director of Customer Success here at GiveGab, and we are just thrilled to be the tech platform behind this very exciting day. Absolutely, we're so excited for Tuesday, and we hope you are too. Um, so this webinar, um, you know, you've already created, you've registered for New Hampshire Gives, you've customized your profile, you know, you're verified to accept donations, now what? So this is a webinar to kind of prepare you, uh, you know, with tools for promoting your participation in New Hampshire Gives, how to get the word out to your supporters, um, to let them know that you're participating and get excited for the big day on Tuesday. So it's going to be really fun and really exciting and we want you to be a part of it. So first, you're going to want to tell your story. Um, you know, and your mission says a lot about what you do, obviously, but you want to go a step beyond that and really talk about what you do and what your impact has been on you know, the people you serve, on your community, and you know, on, for New Hampshire. You, know, you really want to talk about how your mission um, you know, tells that story. You know, get personal stories from those you serve. Those do really well, especially in social media posts. You know, if you can collect stories from a couple of people who have who really impacted by your organization, um, those really do well. Um, as well as you know, quotes from the people you serve. So people are really seeing um, you know that impact that you have. Um, as well as how far a donation can go. So it's really easy to say you know we're going to serve. You know, 50% of the population with this, but you want to really uh, phrase your donor's impact in dollars and cents. So, you know, $5 helps feed the dog for a week at our shelter. $10 helps build a kennel. $50 helps us vaccinate three of our sheltered animals. You see how I really go in depth there with, you know, what the impact actually is because then, you know, donors see, you know, well, if you know, my $5 gets feed the dog for a week, but I can see you know, $10 helps build a kennel, like they're probably going to donate $10 because they can really see their impact and they see what your organization is doing for the community very clearly because they understand your story. So some storytelling tips. A picture says a thousand words. So you'll see here, this is an example of a fundraising campaign on New Hampshire Gives. This is for NOFA New Hampshire the Northeast Organic Farming Association of New Hampshire. And you see they created this really great campaign and used a lot of images for their donation levels. So you can see there's you know, $25, spread the word about locally grown healthy foods, and then $50, another great image, another great description. So you really get a sense of what their impact is, what they're trying to do, and you know what that impact will be on the community. So it's really clear and it really does a great job of telling their story. So fundraising campaigns are a great way to do this um, because you have, again, more options to customize, add those photos, tell your story in a little more depth. So again, like I said before, instead of percentages, talk in numbers. Instead of saying 15%, you know, say the exact amount of people you helped last year. You know, people really appreciate when they know exactly who you're serving uh, and exactly what your impact has been. So, uh, you know, it's easy to kind of use those percentages and things like that, but really uh, clearly define what those, uh, those impacts are. As well as choose a story that clearly demonstrates your cause and touches people's hearts. 
you know, you don't want to, you know, go begging people, you know, telling people, oh, feel bad, you know, you don't want them to feel bad or anything like that, but, you know, you really can use your, your impact to uh, encourage people to, to donate to your cause because the more details you give on, on those, those personal stories, the more people are going to want to get involved because people sometimes don't want to donate to, you know, to causes. They want to donate to other people. They want to know that they're having a, an effect on other people's lives. And your organizations do that in such a huge way that it's a really great way to entice those donors to give back. So once you've told your story, you're going to want to promote. So definitely going to want to email your contacts and let them know that you're participating in New Hampshire Gives if you haven't already. You know, Tuesday is coming up, so if you haven't sent an email to your supporters, we have some great templates for you in the nonprofit toolkit on nhgives.org that I can just uh, point out after this so you know exactly where they are. But you can just copy and paste those right into your email client change out some of the wording to make it more personal for your organization, include the link to your um, New Hampshire Gives profile page, um, and so all they have to do is open that email, click to view your page, and then they're ready to donate. So make sure that you're in touch with them this week. Um, and don't be afraid to contact them. I know some of you, uh, you know, people are worried about contacting their donors a little too much, but because this is an event where, you know, it's a 24-hour day. You're really building excitement. It's all about really engaging with other, you know, uh, people from New Hampshire and getting them excited about your causes. So don't be afraid to reach out more than once. Um, the people will be glad uh, that you did because, you know, we find that a lot of times with the days of giving, afterwards the donors are like, this is a great event, but I didn't hear about it until right before. I wish I would have I been able to know more about it. So definitely let them know that you're participating because it will make a huge difference. Yeah, I think that's something, that is a really good point. That is what you do not want to hear after mm -hmm. the day of giving, that, oh, I, I didn't know that you were participating. Mm -hmm. So I think, as Bridget was saying, don't be afraid to ask, because the day of giving is exciting. It's exciting for nonprofits, and it's exciting for your supporters. So uh, we want to give everybody an opportunity to participate in the fun day. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and you can also post teasers on Facebook and Twitter. You're definitely going to want to use social media to promote the day. Um, start a countdown every day. Uh, you know, we're this many days away. Don't forget. Um, and include that call to action, that link to your organization's New Hampshire Gives page, so they know exactly where to go to donate to your organization. Additionally, you can send out a call for those fundraising champions. Those are those peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers who are fundraising on behalf of your organization for New Hampshire Gives. And you know, even if you don't have a campaign, you can still use that um, uh, champion toolkit on nhgives.org, which has a lot of really great resources people can use if they just want to, you know, get the word out about your organization on the day. Um, and I can again show you where all that is after we go through the presentation. Additionally, you want to make sure you're going to get your board involved with New Hampshire Gives, whether you're adding them as a fundraising champion or, you know, just, you know, having them send out a couple of emails uh, to their constituents, you know, maybe have a little event where you say, hey, everyone on my board, can you just please send out, you know, we'll all have a little lunch and we'll get together and we'll each send out, you know, you know 20 emails, uh, you know, to talk about New Hampshire Gives. You know, that can go a long way, and your board, you know, they're there to support your organization. So let them know that, you know, their involvement really will have an impact on your success of this day and get them involved because it's an exciting Sunday and you want everyone to be a part of it. And again, like I said, don't be afraid to ask donors more than once. It's an exciting day. There's going to be a lot of cool prizes and incentives. So, you know, don't be afraid to let them know, hey, there's a prize coming up. Like, mm -hmm. we really want to win this one because that can really get your donors excited if they know that your organization could potentially have a greater impact just because of, you know, messaging that you created for them. Um, it's a really exciting and fun way to participate. And also, and then their dollar, they feel like their dollar is going further, right? Absolutely. So if I make a $20 donation, but I helped my organization win this $500 prize, I feel really good about that. Yeah. You can definitely use those prizes in some of your messaging to motivate your donors mm -hmm. um, to really, you know, be a part of the day because it's about, uh, you know, all of the nonprofits, but getting your supporters excited about, you know, participating in the event is also a really great way to uh, encourage your success. So I mentioned uh, a little bit about social media. Social media can actually play a really big role in your success on the day of giving. Um, you know, with online giving especially, people, all they have to do is click a link and they're 
fast. All they have to do is press another button and they've donated to your organization. It's so fast. It's so easy. Um, and that's why social media now plays a really big role. So you're always going to want, want to include a call to action in all of your posts. So that's either the link to your organization's New Hampshire Gives profile or your campaign if you have one running, or uh, NewHampshireGives.org. Make sure you always include that so they have to go to donate. Because you want to make it as easy as possible for them to find your organization. Additionally, make sure you use hashtag NHGives in all of your posts because then you'll appear on the New Hampshire Gives tag board, which I'll show in a bit. Um, again, like I said, pictures go a long way. On social media, posts with photos receive 2.3 times as much engagement as those without. You know, a lot of times people are just scrolling down their news feed, and you know, see a lot of text, but if they see an image, they're more likely to stop and pay attention. And even if your organization doesn't have a lot of great images or, you know, something like that, we do have some really great um, images just for New Hampshire Gives in the nonprofit toolkit that you can use. Uh, again, just to kind of capture people's attention a bit more. It doesn't have to be a photo, you know, of your organization. It can just be that that New Hampshire Gives uh, logo, so people know that you're participating. They continue to see that over and over again. And they're gonna, it's gonna stick with them after, you know, the second or the third time. They're gonna be like, it's all this New Hampshire Gives stuff. I wanna be a part of that. <laughs> So you're definitely going to want to also encourage your supporters to, to retweet and share your post to um, you know, expand your own organization's social network by using the network of your supporters. Uh -huh. And make sure to change out your logo and cover photo uh, with the New Hampshire Gives graphics that are in the nonprofit toolkit. So you know, if I change my cover photo to that you know, New Hampshire Gives cover photo, all my friends are going to see that. You know, this is something that I care about. And they're more likely to actually, you know, engage with the day if they see that someone they know personally is involved. Because then it means a little bit more. It has a little bit more of an impact to them as opposed to just, you know, hearing about it on the news or something like that. So that can really go a long way. So you're going to want to do that probably this week to let people know. You know, Tuesday's coming up. Get excited. Yeah, definitely this week. <laughs> so like I mentioned, it's a really great way to be a part of the conversation. Um, by using that hashtag NHGives. Uh, you can also use other trending hashtags and reach different populations like fundraising, New Hampshire, donate, nonprofits, things like that. Um, so that you're kind of getting the word out there to different networks as well as, you know, kind of coming together as, as all of you nonprofits, you know, are, are working together to promote New Hampshire on this awesome day. Um, it's a great way to kind of see what you're all doing, uh, you know, follow along with each other. Uh, as the day progresses. And you can do that by looking at the tag board right on nhgives.org. So here's um, a screenshot of what that tag board looks like right now. So you see there's all different posts. And anytime someone uses that hashtag nhgives, it appears right on the tag board, which is if you go to nhgives.org, I'll show you after the presentation. You just scroll all the way down and you'll see this. And you can see all the posts that use that hashtag. So it's a really great way to kind of join in the fun of the day especially on the day of when everyone's posting so much. It's really cool to see how everyone's kind of getting in the New Hampshire spirit. You're definitely going to want to use that hashtag in all of your posts promoting the day. So for Facebook, Facebook is where you're going to want to post those longer stories, those photos, those calls to action. You know, there's no character limit. You can really kind of flesh out what you're aiming to do, what you're aiming to accomplish for New Hampshire Gives. Um, especially when you're sharing personal stories from those you serve or something like that. It's a really great way to do that on social media. And um, you know, you can even schedule those posts beforehand so you don't have to worry about it on the day of. That's one really great tool that you know, Facebook and a lot of those, um, there's some free tools you can use to schedule your posts if you know, you're going to be busy on June 7th. So get these all out of the way so that you're, all you have to do is you know, click a button and they're good to go. You're also going to want to engage with your supporters by liking or loving their posts and, and having them share your posts. Because again, when anyone likes or shares any of your organization's posts on Facebook, it becomes visible to all of their friends. So that's again just expanding your network even further to acquire those potential new donors and new supporters because like I said, people like to give to people, and if they see that personal connection, you know, their friends are liking these things, their friends care about these organizations, they're more likely to engage with your organization. So you're definitely going to want to promote um, 
that, that kind of engagement. You know, you can do little, um, you know, updates throughout the day. Um, maybe do a little like social media contest or something like that to get people excited. There's a lot of really cool things you can do to build excitement on Facebook during the day. Additionally, uh, you're going to want to use Twitter as well. So Twitter's a little different. You only get 140 characters to make an impression. And currently, uh, pictures use 22 characters and links use 23. So you're going to want to, uh, you know, these are for those shorter uh, kind of um, quick posts as opposed to those fleshed out stories that you can do on Facebook. So it's a great way to kind of update people throughout the day. So how many donors you have, how much you've raised, how close you are to your goal, things like that. Uh, it's also a great way to engage with your supporters. You know, you can retweet people's posts. You know, if someone tweets that they just donated to your organization. Make sure you like that post. Uh, retweet that post. I like to say that the uh, the at mention is uh, the modern autograph because it really makes someone feel like they matter to your organization if they see, you know, you liked it. Oh my God, they retweeted me. It feels good to them and it's. It's again, building that relationship with someone over social media it can really go a long way. So make sure that you're, you know, you're following back your followers, your donors, volunteers, prominent members of the community, or you know, other organizations in New Hampshire that you admire or, or work closely with. You know? It's a really great way to kind of come together and um, you know, connect socially throughout the day. And make sure you're tweeting to other people's accounts, like you know, New Hampshire Gibbs has a Twitter, you know, tweet at them so we can see what's going on with your organization throughout the day. It's also a great way to thank your supporters. So if you see them tweeting um, about you, tweet back, thank them. It's just you know, a fun way to kind of engage with them throughout the day. And it's all in real time, so it's a lot of fun during the 24 hours to use social media to really boost your engagement. So you're going to obviously want to thank your donors, and again, we automatically send them that thank, that personal thank you message that comes from your contact person to get rid of that sense of immediacy. But there's a lot of other ways you can thank your donors throughout the day, you know, on social media. Like I said, you know, uh, maybe post a photo on Facebook, um, you know, thanking all your donors uh, who who gave for New Hampshire Gives, as well as in any of your newsletters or emails following the day. You know, you can also send them a handwritten note, a little old school, but you know, those handwritten notes, really personal, can go a long way as well. Um, and you know, ways to think outside the box. So you know, when you finally um, complete that project that you know your campaign was trying to fund, you know, when you post a picture on social media and tag all those people who who helped you get there and show them, hey, you helped us do this because you know, showing them their impact is continuing to build that relationship with them, which is so important, as you all know. Um, you can create a donor appreciation wall, whether that's a physical wall in your, you know, in your space, or if it's a virtual wall on Facebook or, or somewhere else. But you can also post this thank you video on YouTube and share it. Now, this is actually a lot easier than you think. Uh, we have actually a graphic in the, in the nonprofit toolkit that's uh, a little thank you sign that all you have to do is print out and then on the day of, maybe pass around to your staff and volunteers and just take a couple photos of people holding that thank you sign, whether it's the people you serve or the people you work with. Um, and then all you have to do is kind of you know, stitch those photos together in a little slideshow, maybe, maybe add a little music, and you find yourself a really good thank you video that didn't take a long time to make, but can go a really long way in making your donors feel appreciated. Um, so that's definitely a really cool option. And I can show you where again. All of these great resources are on nhgifts.org. All right. So we have a few more resources for you. Um, you know, if you have any questions, we'll show you the nonprofit toolkit. But on our blog, you know, we have how often should I make the ask? You know, creating your best fundraising email, a strategic guide to social media, showing love to your donors. Uh, nonprofit supporter communication, establishing a great community outreach strategy, nine social ways to thank your donors. Well, a lot of other really great resources you can use um, on the Give Gab blog, and I'll send these to all of you um, after the webinar as well, so you have these to use. They're really great resources. Um, and now we're going to open the floor up to questions. There was a question. There was a great question about. Um, about the prizes. How will we know when a prize is coming up to share the info with our donors? So I don't know if you want to head over to, mm -hmm. oh, you know what? 
the uh, the prize page will be available this afternoon. I'm oh. going to show off the prize page, but um, I'm sorry that that is uh, still in progress. <laughs> we're we're making it shiny, mm -hmm. and it'll be ready soon. So we'll be sure to send out an email once that is ready for kind of like the big reveal for when the prizes are mm -hmm. coming up. And you'll get an email once all those prizes are ready to go, um, and you'll also be able to find them on uh, the New Hampshire Kids site. So you'll be able to, you know, let your supporters know when those prizes are happening. You know, right. maybe you know, strategize. You know, which prize are you aiming to um, to win? Because if you can get all your donors to kind of come yeah. together and you know work together to maybe win a particular prize, you'd be surprised how successful you might be. Yeah. So I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. And yeah, so we'll reveal more information. Um, you know. Uh, at the end of this week, probably. Mm -hmm. But I would think I would look at the different like buckets. There'll be different like time periods on when you can win prizes. Mm -hmm. Like for example, like you know maybe midnight to 4 a.m. You know there's like a most uh, donors prize during that time period. Mm -hmm. Think about you know rallying your night owl to help mm -hmm. you win that prize. But I would definitely target a prize. And then have your supporters go after it, mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's just going to be fun for everybody in, involved to kind of like have a goal. Absolutely, yeah. it's a lot of fun. So I mentioned a lot of these resources um, that you can use to promote um, the day, and these are all in the nonprofit toolkit on nhgives.org. So see, there's that toolbar right up at the top. If you just click nonprofit toolkit, it'll take you to this page here. Again, it walks you through those steps you should have completed to you know, register, build your profile, add your bank account information. And here are all those resources to prepare and promote. So I mentioned some of those sample posts. So again, you can just copy and paste these right into Twitter, right into Facebook, and change out some of the wording to be more centered toward your organization's mission, and you're good to go. We want to make this as easy as possible for you. We know you're super busy. Uh, running all your awesome organizations. Uh, additionally, we have um, some sample email messages. So you can download those sample messages and just copy and paste right into your email client. So here are some of those templates. Letting your supporters know that you're participating and how they can donate is really important. So you can download those right on this page here. Now if I go back to the toolkit, You'll see down here is also that downloadable goodies section. Now that section is where you're going to be able to download all of those great images, so the logos, as well as um, you know all those promotional resources, press release, sample social media posts, that printable thank you image is down here, um, as well as those graphics that you're going to want to change out on Facebook and Twitter um, so that your supporters and your friends and family know that you're participating in New Hampshire gives us something close to your heart. Um, as well, again, there's that great thank you image. All I do is print it out, take some photos of your, you know, your people you serve, your staff, your volunteers, your board. Uh, holding that sign is so easy, and it really goes a long way. Additionally, I want to show you that champion toolkit. So this is a great way to get your board involved. Um, for other supporters of your organization, um, let them know, hey, you know, we want you to fundraise on our behalf. Um, you know, really help us go the extra mile for New Hampshire Gives. So we have these great resources for them on how they can do that, you know, different things they can do to promote your organization's participation in the day. So it's a really fun, really exciting way to get involved in it. Anyone can do it, even if they don't have the capacity to give, which I know a lot of people, you know, how do you engage with those supporters who want to give but can't? This is a really great way to do that. Hey, we know you care about our mission. We know you want to make an impact. Um, but you don't have, you know, the potential to really to give a lot of money. So why don't you fundraise on our behalf? It's a really great way to get them involved without asking them for a monetary gift. Using their social network to expand your reach and increase donations. So that's one way to do that. So we have all those resources for you there. Any more questions? Hmm. I haven't seen any. Um, Okay. We'll hang out a few more minutes, so yeah. Um, and remember, so you'll see this little blue bubble on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you ever have any questions or need any help um, getting your profile ready before Tuesday, or just any questions about New Hampshire gifts in general, feel free to use that little blue chat bubble. 
um, to chat with a member of the customer success team. If you've used the chat already, you've probably chatted with me or another member of the team. We love talking to you guys. We love helping you out. So please feel free to use that chat whenever you have a question. We're always here to help and make sure you're as successful as possible for New Hampshire Goods this Tuesday, June 7th. <laughs> All right, we'll stick around for a few more minutes if anyone else has any questions. Um, definitely keep an eye on your inbox mm -hmm. over the coming days. We'll be sending out some great communications, great emails with even more tips on what to do to, to get you ready for the day. And, um, you know, we're going to keep the excitement going all day long on June 7th. So definitely, um, uh, you know, again, keep an eye on your inbox because we'll be sending you um, lots of emails throughout the day, just keeping you updated on what's happening, you know, with the prizes and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Absolutely. Uh, we had a question from in about, you know, whether or not they'd be, someone would be able to watch this uh, presentation after the fact. Absolutely, we'll be, um, this webinar was recorded, so we'll be posting it on uh, nhkids.org in the webinar section um, at some point, uh, either this afternoon or tomorrow. So you will have access to watch this um, after the fact. And that way anyone who missed the webinar will also still have this webinar um, to get ready for Tuesday. Yep. All right, any other questions? All right, well, if there are no more questions, um, if you remember, you know, if anything comes to you after the webinar, feel free to use that little chat feature. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. All right. All right, Deborah, anything else that you wanted to add before we hop off? I think you've stunned them all into silence. Um. <laughs> From some of the great Facebook and Twitter posts that I've seen, there's a lot of people out there doing a lot of this already, and it's it's so exciting to see to look at that um, uh, the the feed on the homepage and see what people are are doing out there. So um, keep it up, everyone, and and do more. It's going to be the next several days are so critical to making sure that everybody that you know knows about this day. Um, I want to thank Casey and Bridget. Um, I think Bridget could probably talk to a wall. Um, she's so awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, if nobody else has any questions, I think we're going to sign off now. And you know, the, the uh, offer is open as well. If you have questions that you want to send our way at the New Hampshire Center for Nonprofits, feel free. We're here. We can answer questions, and when we can't answer them, we'll send you to GiveGap because they're excellent. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks Thank so you. Much. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. And good luck on Tuesday.